Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. Well, it worked. For the first time in more than 45 years, Tennessee did put a man to death in the electric chair. Convicted killer Daryl Holton died just after 1 o'clock in the morning. Tonight, exclusive new details about the execution. News Channel 5's Nick Barris spoke with the state's chief medical examiner who performed Holton's autopsy. Nick. Rory, this was Tennessee's first electrocution since 1960. Many wondered if the chair would even work. It did. Dr. Bruce, Bruce Levy tells us how. The death sentence of Daryl Keith Holton was executed by means of electrocution in accordance with the laws of the state of Tennessee. Strapped into Tennessee's electric chair, Daryl Holton died, jolted by 1,750 volts of electricity. Witnesses watched the state's first electrocution since 1960 from behind glass. Others had closer contact. As the state's chief medical examiner, Dr. Bruce Levy was among the very first into the chamber after the execution, and he admits he didn't know what to expect. This is such a rare event. It's Dr. Levy's state. job to perform the autopsy and confirm the cause of death. I mean, we've all heard the stories. Many of us have seen the movie The Green Mile, uh, and it wasn't anything like that at all. News Channel 5's Chris Cannon was among the journalists who witnessed the execution. When the electric jolt came on, his body went up so violently and stayed there, and you could count it off for the 20 seconds that it was up in the air. And that's not unusual because what happens in the electrocution is it causes every muscle in the body to contract. Dr. Levy says it's impossible to know for certain if Holton felt any pain. The belief is he lost consciousness at the first jolt from electrodes attached to his head and legs. Certainly what followed would have been painful. There was, as we would have expected, some minor burning of the skin in that area because it generates a lot of heat. Um, so there were some first and second degree burns. Another witness to the execution said Holton appeared drowsy and not altogether there. Generally seemed uh, out of sorts. Was he drugged? The warden says no. And Dr. Levy says so far, tests confirm that. We found nothing in his urine. But obviously, we're going to send out um, blood for blood tests as well. Those tests will be back in a few weeks. Dr. Levy says the electric chair seems to have performed exactly as expected. He says no surprises. And he certified that Holton died from electrocution, which stopped his heart, Rory. Nick, why does the medical examiner have to perform an autopsy after an execution? Right. You know, they assume that they know the cause of death here. But Dr. Levy says it is standard procedure to make sure everything goes properly. And now there is an official record on that cause of death. All right, Nick, thanks. A jury convicted Daryl Holton of murdering his three sons and stepdaughter. And the crime happened back in uh, 1997 in Shelbyville. He had the option of choosing lethal injection. But he chose instead to die in the